Hey, what's up everyone? How you doing today? I'm Hans. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day today. And today we're going to be talking about YouTube again after all the success that the last video had had. Now we're back again and telling you if you want your videos to be watched, if you want your videos to be clicked, if you want to start having more subscribers, more watch time, more views, this video is the right for you. This video is not for a couple million subscribers. This video is just for people like me and you. So if you want to continue watching, I would appreciate you subscribe and keep watching because there's a lot of good stuff. There's a lot of good information that I'm going to give you guys right now. So let's start. So as you can see if you notice right there i'm gonna show you right now where it should be right there yeah here is a card for the last video that has a lot of success a lot of people watched it a lot of people sent me some messages on instagram telling me that they got motivated and they are going to start their own channel find your channel find the the, the passion for the, something that you love and start doing it and um, we talked about this in the last video how are you gonna start it? How are you gonna start your channel? So make sure you subscribe, make sure you watch this channel. Go check us out on Instagram, Supercars Kit and Hans Media. All right, so today we are talking about you shut your video and after you shut your video, you decide to do, all right, what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna upload it to YouTube. In order for the video to gain momentum on YouTube, like let's be honest when you start you have zero followers you have zero views you have just started so in order to make that happen you have to start making that video that you just uploaded clickable meaning that people need to press that button to watch your video so it has to be attractive it has to be appealing it has to have something that they're gonna like benefit from um, something that will provoke them to 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 actually open that video and watch it so I'll give you today some tips six or seven tips that will start helping you get your video watched and clicked by people tip number one title the first thing that will catch anybody to click on a video is the actual title so make your title straightforward simple and not too long title is about a hundred letters hundred characters never use the hundred never explain anything on the title because the longer the title is gonna get cut up and your message will be lost so what I recommend in the title is be smart this is the smartest decision that you're gonna make on your YouTube video make the title appealing make it short make it straightforward and make it clickable make it maybe a question that you're gonna answer maybe a problem that you're gonna solve maybe something that you guys think that it will help them you know what I'm saying so always make sure that your title is what I can say the word provocative uh, appealing straight to the point and there's nothing wrong with a little bit of a clickbait in the beginning. I'm not saying clickbait is the key, but a little bit of a clickbait. A semi-clickbait, you would say. So, let's give some examples. If we're talking about, you're, you're doing a video about cars, and you are shooting, I would say like a Lamborghini Huracan, for example. Try to find something special about this Lamborghini Huracan. Make it clickable. Is it is it super loud? Does it have a very loud exhaust? You can do it like that. Check out the loudest Lamborghini that I've ever seen. It's not clickbait. It might not be the really the loudest uh, uh, Lamborghini out there, but it's the loudest for you. It's the loudest you, you ever heard. It probably could be the loudest for another one. If, if you're doing a makeup channel for girls, this is the softest uh, foundation that I've ever seen. This is the brightest color 
This is the newest trend. Try to be semi clickbaitable. That's what I'm saying about titles. So, in order to make that happen, you have to actually have a semi clickbait or make your title so appealing or you have a problem that you're gonna solve. Next step is the thumbnail. After you've done the title, you have to reach now for the actual. If the title is taking that much, the thumbnail will take a little bit bigger. So you need to spend some time doing the thumbnail really nice and you have to nail it every time. There's a lot of strategies, there's a lot of ways that you can do the thumbnail, but uh, let me tell you from my experience, the nicer the thumbnail, the more clickable the, the video, the more it will have click-through rate means, uh, what's the click-through rate? It means that YouTube will show your videos on the screen for somebody to click it, but it's going to be alongside a lot, a lot, a lot of other videos. So what will happen, the click-through rate is how many times YouTube showed your thumbnail or your video to someone and that someone clicked it. So it's probably going to show it to 100 people and five has clicked it reasons that people will click that because even they don't know you is number one the title number two is as important as a thumbnail so make sure that your thumbnail is catchy make sure your thumbnail is um, is, is straight to the point make sure you that your thumbnail is is uh, I would say colorful meaningful or it can have some sort of a mystery that that's something that will click with your audience and we're gonna talk about your audience later so make sure it's it's straight to the point don't put a lot of text i'm gonna make a whole video about thumbnails to be honest with you because it's a, it's, a, it's a huge topic but for now make sure that the thumbnail is literally straight to the point simple bright color it doesn't need to have your face on it if you don't want if you're shooting a product the product will be the hero if you're doing a vlog Wherever you're doing what could be the hero if you're uh, if you're doing uh, a camera review a car review Makeup review or any any type of, of, of video that you're producing Make sure that whatever you're talking on the title is shown on a thumbnail. You can't be doing uh, a, a Thumbnail has nothing to do with with, with an actual uh, thing. So your thumbnail needs to be right to the point We're gonna talk about this in another video Number three, tags. Tags, people debate it if it's really important on YouTube nowadays or not, but it is important because this are the stuff that I search. Sometimes I tested this myself. I inserted some tags in some of the videos and I was searching on the tags that has nothing to do with the video and the videos that I was searching the tags for appeared. So I tested it myself and it's working so make sure that the tags that you have are related to your, your your subject whether it's any niche anything that you're doing if you're teaching acting if you're doing entertainment if you're if you're making a vlog if make sure that the tags are related to the subject that you're doing meaning related is you have to put some of the title uh, uh, tags inside the tags itself some of the description whatever you describe on the actual YouTube you're gonna start describing what happens this video all right in this video I will show you guys how to use the camera and how to adjust the ISO and how to choose the perfect camera whether indoor or outdoor so when you go back to tags you have to write down exactly what you're doing put cameras put indoors put ISO put the focal lens put the brand of the camera that you're viewing brand of the lens that you're viewing put the brand of makeup the brand of car you have to insert as much tags you have 500 letters I would believe if I'm not mistaken 500 use it to the max insert as much tags related to the subject uh, or related to the title that you have audience tip number four is audience audience is the, if you don't know who's your audience your video is going to be lost on youtube billions and billions of videos on youtube daily there's a million video like you being uploaded on youtube it's an ocean of videos so you need to know what type of audience do you want this video to reach what type of people 
that will watch your video. If your videos are about vlogging in general, try to narrow it down. Don't 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 do the, the vlogs just just a general vlog cuz I'm being honest with you. Nobody want to watch you uh, drinking coffee uh, going to school uh, hopping in an uber you didn't give any benefit you didn't give any benefit I did this mistake in the beginning and I thought that this is gonna be interesting although I had like car shows and stuff with my son Jax a super cars kid but I was mistaken that people love it for some time but they want to know what is this give your vlogs or give your videos a meaning give it a benefit let the, the actual audience have a benefit from your video let them watch you because they're gonna learn something that they don't know that's a benefit that's a benefit and that will take me to the next tip tip number five or number six and I'm, I'm not I, I'm not counting but tip number five content is the king it is the king content is what's gonna make people now they clicked it you have the best title in the world you have the best thumbnail in the world now they need to click and watch first 10 seconds are the most important seconds of your video 10 to 15 seconds in the beginning is the ones that is gonna decide exactly exactly if people are gonna watch this video or not so make sure that your content is really catching people let them really understand that this is something that they want that this is something that they really gonna benefit from watching content is very important to a degree that if you're having good content with a bad thumbnail and a bad title and people pressed it by any chance they're gonna be so immersed in your content and they're gonna watch it so you can tell me how to do content if I have an idea or two but what else you can go to see always what's going on behind around you like there's a lot of viral stuff going to the go to the trending page and see what's trending on YouTube uh, if, if, if you're like gaming see which game is, is out right now and, and 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 do gaming videos on it if you're if you're if you're a camera guy or a video or a photographer or, or, or that type of person see what cameras are people buying right now what camera just launched for example like uh, Sony or, 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 or a Canon or the new 90d or something like that and go and start talking about this camera that will not gonna be like you're writing the trend or doing something bad but no you're giving your own opinion about it you're doing your own thing on it so Writing the trend or using the actual trend is, is not, nothing wrong with that. It's actually adding value. It's going to get your video recognized a little bit because it's talking about something that is, is I would say, nowadays. So it's it's not outdated. It's not You're not talking about something like 10 years ago. One of the other things, that I would say it's, it's a tip number seven or something. YouTube itself has a lot of nice channels that made by YouTube. Like the YouTube creator channel, it, this channel, I benefited a long, a long time from it. It actually benefited me a lot. It showed me uh, a lot of things about YouTube studio or YouTube beta and how to use cards and how to use end screens. And we're going to be talking about this later right now. These things are really helpful. These things are really tools that are going to help you. So make sure you check out the YouTube creator channel on YouTube itself. I was just speaking right now about calling cards and end screens. These are the things that you can use on your videos to let people know. For example, I'm going to leave you here right now. A calling card. Yep, that's the one. This is for the video that I was just talking about. Check it out. Press it. And now it will take you to one of my videos that I previously done. So. This is one of the tools that actually YouTube gives you in the YouTube studio. One more thing, when you remember that you're watching this video, watch till the end, you will see that there's two videos will be on these two sides and there's one subscribe in the middle. This is called the end screen. The end screen is something that will let people know that you have more videos that they can watch without even searching. 
that will show usually two videos and one subscribe button. If you didn't subscribe, subscribe now. Don't wait till the end. Okay. So this is this is pretty much will sum up our episode for today. Uh, it's a little bit outline of how now you have a video idea now you shot it already now how to do it how to upload it. Stay tuned because uh, on the next episode we're going to be talking a little bit more in details about YouTube Studio, uh, how to shoot the actual stuff, how to choose your niche, how to choose your actual content. And um, yeah, thank you so much guys for watching and I hope to see you on the next video and make sure you go to our Instagram right there. I'll leave the links and uh, see you guys in the next video. I'm Hans. See you later.